the Vatican, epicenter of the Roman Catholic faith. Representing one-sixth of the planet's population, it is one of the world's oldest and most powerful institutions, either at the center of faith or controversy. Most recent and shocking that this holy order could be part of one of the biggest cover-ups in UFO history. The church is getting ready to embrace life outside of planet Earth as part of creation. According to UFO theorists, Vatican officials have possessed knowledge of alien life for centuries, a claim so explosive and world-changing that generations of popes and cardinals have categorically denied the accusations. But what if the claims are true? It's believed even to this day that not everything has been revealed. Tonight, we will reveal what extraterrestrial secrets could lie behind the walls of this religious citadel, including shocking admissions by members of the church and possible proof of alien life that's allegedly been buried for centuries. Join us as the secret history of aliens and the Vatican is unseen. A global effort has begun. Secret files hidden from the public for decades detailing every UFO account are now available to the public. We are about to uncover the truth behind these classified documents. Find out what the government doesn't want you to know. Unseal Alien Files. Exposing the biggest secret on planet Earth. April 2nd, 2005. Pope John Paul II, the second longest serving pope in history, dies. He is praised as being one of the most influential leaders in the 20th century. April 8th, at 6.03 a.m., hours before John Paul's funeral, an unidentified flying object is filmed by a security camera observing St. Peter's Basilica. Could this mysterious object be evidence of a connection between the Vatican and alien life? A connection that theorists and historians believe has existed since the creation of the church. The possibility that this craft came to pay its respects to the Pope and his people is more likely than you think. Among the most secret of secrets in the Catholic Church, is there a belief in extraterrestrials? Torin, Poland, 1543. Nicholas Copernicus marks the beginning of modern astronomy, showing that Earth revolves around the Sun, and not the other way around. Five years later, Giordano Bruno is born in Naples, southern Italy. Bruno takes the theories of Copernicus further by suggesting that science dictates life on other planets. Bruno's theory about the cosmos said that the people of Earth were not the only people in our universe. That didn't sit too well with the church. In 1600, Bruno is found guilty of heresy and burned at the stake. He is the first person in history to be executed by the Catholic Church for beliefs that include the possibility of extraterrestrials. Was Bruno sacrificed to cover up a secret the church has allegedly hidden for the past 1,500 years? That church believed that we as humans, God made us the center of everything and we were just kind of the be all and end all. But the reality was that it was much bigger. There was much more out there. In fact, possible ties between the Catholic faith and alien forms are nearly as old as the religion itself. Strange-looking craft begin to appear in Christian art as early as the 1400s. Quite frequently, artists would put symbols in the sky, but uh, in a couple of cases, they kind of looked like flying saucers. One painting, the Madonna with San Giovannino, depicts the Lady Madonna in the foreground and San Giovannino in the background pointing up to the sky, and he sees a craft that is clearly visible in the painting. In the Middle Ages and through the Renaissance, they would take events from the present and depict them in the paintings. These were real things that people saw in the sky. In The Miracle of the Snow, you have a painting of Jesus and Mary above, 
And below, it appears to be a what could be described as a fleet of UFOs or flying saucers directly below them. The baptism of Christ, painted in 1710, shows what looks like a flying saucer beaming down toward Jesus. The crucifixion features a pair of what look like UFOs. Are the objects captured in these works of art records of religious devotion or evidence of the church's connection to spacecraft and perhaps even creatures from another world? Now, I'm sorry, that's not a winged angel or a depiction of God. What was that 500 years ago? We don't know. The discs seen throughout the history of Christian art are an identical match to recordings and reports of modern day UFOs. Were these artists adding images they had seen or heard about from eyewitnesses? And when UFOs are so clearly seen throughout history, why has the church denied their presence? Is the Vatican truly hiding knowledge of alien life? And have we only just now discovered it? It's very likely that some of the religious experiences that have been discussed and written about for centuries were in fact extraterrestrial in nature. Coming up next, the Vatican investigates one of the largest mass UFO sightings of all time and breaks their silence on the extraterrestrial truth after reports that alien remains were allegedly found buried right under the church. This is Unsealed Alien Files, exposing the biggest secret on planet Earth. Welcome back to Unsealed Alien Files. From images of spacecraft in Christian art, to unidentified objects over the church, the Vatican has long been associated with extraterrestrial phenomena, even though they have executed believers of alien life for heresy. But no connection has been greater than the Vatican's involvement in some of the largest mass UFO sightings in history. Unsealed case file, the sighting at Fatima. 1917 the climax of World War I. Portugal attempts to remain neutral in the global conflict. The country is gripped with fear, and its people are looking for a sign of what's to come. On October 13th, 1917, in Fatima, Portugal, a mass UFO sighting with more than 70,000 witnesses took place. During the event, the rain stopped. Some witnesses believed that the clouds parted and what was described as a saucer-shaped craft came down from the heavens above towards Earth. According to eyewitnesses, three children approached the vision and witnessed an apparition of a beautiful woman. The vision reportedly included a glowing globe-shaped vehicle, showering rose petals that disappeared upon hitting the ground. According to the girls, the apparition gave them a cryptic message. Over the years, they attribute that to being the Virgin Mary. But it's very possible that this could have been something else. That apparition, that vision, gave a prophecy to those three little girls. And it was a vision of the future, a prophecy of the future. The message has been interpreted as images from an apocalyptic future. It is filled with flaming swords and so-called demons who come in the forms of frightful and unknown animals. Could the Vatican be hiding details that this frightening message is warning of a coming alien invasion? A lot of the information for Fatima really didn't come out until about the year 2000. It's believed even to this day that not everything has been revealed. If this really was a message from another world and it was a warning, a lot of people ask, should we know? Visions, lights in the sky, sightings and messages from strange beings. Reports of possible UFO activity continue to be reported around the world, and according to experts, the Vatican openly investigates them. In 2011, a group of people um, on the Ivory Coast of Africa saw a light in the sky. It wasn't just a light in the sky, it was a diamond-shaped light in the sky. And it was so vivid, so compelling, that for that moment, that group was transfixed by the light. And it changed their lives. Recently, such unidentified sightings have increased around the world, 
Peru, Brazil, Russia, and China, all UFO hotspots report mass sightings that seem to come as visions. Unlike any nation, the Catholic Church has no borders. Its 1.2 billion followers are spread worldwide, a global network of eyes and ears looking for the unexplained. Is this what has finally convinced the Vatican to come forward and admit the existence of alien life? Unsealed case file, the Vatican's alien ambassadors. Just outside Rome stands Castel Gandolfo, a satellite Vatican estate that serves as the summer residence of the Pope and headquarters for Vatican astronomers. Two large domes on the roof each house massive telescopes used to study the heavens since the 1930s. The astrophysicists at Vatican Observatory have been interested in the question of extraterrestrial life for quite a while. Dr. Funes, the Vatican Observatory director, affirmed the possibility of the existence of extraterrestrial intelligences. In a universe uh, so big, huge, I would say, 100 billion of galaxies, with uh, each galaxy with a uh, hundred billion of stars. Uh, probably with uh, many of these stars uh, having planets, it could be possible that our life could evolve the way we know on Earth. Was there real solid evidence that something's going on inside the Vatican? Well, there is. You have the Vatican itself declaring that if extraterrestrial life exists, it's part of God's creation. But the most public evidence came in November of 2009, when the Pontifical Academy of Sciences, the Vatican Science Department, held a conference of over 30 scientists and religious leaders in Rome. The subject, life on other planets, its possibility, and its ramifications. They're literally putting up a, a neon sign saying, we're down with ETs. But the biggest bombshell may be what they found underneath the Vatican. Coming up next, a repository of Vatican secrets that's existed for 500 years is opened up, and shocking new images could reveal the ultimate discovery, remains of an alien being. This is Unsealed Alien Files, exposing the biggest secret on planet Earth. Welcome back to Unsealed Alien Files. The Vatican has denied the existence of extraterrestrials since the creation of the church. But recently, Vatican officials have publicly acknowledged the likelihood of alien life. This dramatic reversal of Vatican policy demands an explanation. What does the church know? Or what have they found that causes them to reverse a 2,000-year-old opinion? The answer to this may be found within the Vatican secret archives. It's thousands and thousands of volumes, and it's been kept for well over a thousand years. This is bigger than the National Archives. And according to alien theorists, it is here that the Vatican keeps reports of all investigated UFO occurrences far from prying eyes. The Vatican Secret Archive is uh, approximately uh, 52 miles of shelving, we're told, and over 32,000 archives. What could possibly be in there? 1977, U.S. President Jimmy Carter is one of the only presidents ever to claim to have seen a UFO. Carter intends to publicly reveal all the information the U.S. government has on alien existence. He asks the Library of Congress to reach out to all possible sources regarding UFO intelligence. But when the library's contacts reach out to the Vatican requesting disclosure of all files with evidence of alien life, the Vatican refuses, twice. But the secrets hidden within the Vatican can't stay buried forever. Now, new evidence may prove the Vatican is hiding actual aliens from the public. Unsealed case file. The Alien Skulls. Here's a strange story. In 1998, there were excavations being done under the Vatican Library. And one of the workers on the excavation team found some strange skulls. They were elongated, extended skulls. They looked like what you would think a gray alien skull would look like. The 
oversized, slanted eye sockets, the relatively small nose and mouth, the dome-like cranium, the similarities between its structure and the heads of the gray alien, the ET life form most commonly described by witnesses, are obvious. But why are skulls allegedly under the Vatican? If these bones could talk, what stories would they tell? After the discovery of those strange skulls, Pope John Paul and the Vatican military closed all access to the site. What is the Vatican hiding? And did those skulls make their way into the secret Vatican archives? The Catholic Church has had 1,500 years in which they could have recovered alien bodies from their investigations into unexplained sightings. Could these skulls be the remnants of aliens who once lived in the Vatican? The Vatican is built on the ruins of ancient Rome. And underneath the Vatican is what's known as a necropolis. A necropolis is a vast burial ground. So there could be skulls dating back not just 2,000 years from the birth of Christ, but all the way dating back to the beginning of Rome. Perhaps the conclusion was best put by a nun who stated, whatever those remains represent, there's a reason why the good fathers buried them there to be forgotten. If the theories are true, then the Vatican has intimate knowledge of the secrets behind aliens on planet Earth. But do they ever plan to release that secret to the public? The church is getting ready, no doubt about it, to embrace life outside of planet Earth, off planet Earth, as part of creation. But if the Vatican is planning to reveal alien life in our near future, what discovery will cause the church to come forward? And how will the Vatican handle these alien beings? These uh, are ethical issues that uh, we need to be prepared to deal with, and people of government need to think about these things before they happen. One global event may uncover the truth sooner than we ever imagined possible. Coming up, the event that could force the Vatican to admit everything they know about the truth of alien life in our universe and reveal the Church's role in the future of planet Earth. The next stage of aliens and the Vatican may involve human domination, but will it be at the hands of an extraterrestrial race or the Church? This is Unsealed Alien Files, exposing the biggest secret on planet Earth. Welcome back to Unsealed Alien Files. Evidence dating back almost 2,000 years suggests the Vatican may be one of the most informed organizations in the world on the subject of alien life. But is the Vatican preparing to reveal the shocking reality of an alien race in our universe? We will see, perhaps in our lifetime, the discovery of life on Mars or the presence of past life on Mars. And if so, the Pope will of necessity embrace that life as part of creation. With the extraterrestrial truth finally made public, could the Church use this opportunity to convert more beings to Catholicism? They understand that God created this vast universe, that we're not the only anthill in the middle of the desert. Catholicism is going to be on the forefront for really being that open-minded religion to join. If the theories are true, the future of the Vatican may be to lead not only the Catholic Church, but perhaps all of humanity into a world shared with an extraterrestrial society. This is Unsealed Alien Files exposing the biggest secret on planet Earth.